Today we're going to talk about inequalities, especially those that have one variable. So let's start out and make sure we know which way our signs need to point. Uh, these are inequality signs, and when you're looking at two numbers and comparing them, a lot of students will draw two dots by the greater number and one dot by the number that is the least, and then connect those to form their sign. This is a less than sign, this is a greater than sign. Be careful when negatives get involved. Um, of course, any negative value is going to be less than a positive value, so 8 is greater than negative 4. Be careful when both values are negative. Think of these on a number line. Um, the negative 4 is above the negative 8, so negative 4 is greater than negative 8. Now let's look at when variables are involved. Let's also talk about some words you might see in word problems and how these will appear on a number line. Starting with x is less than 5. If we put this on a number line, it means that all values that are less than 5 are solutions to this inequality. So if we're going to graph it, we do an open circle. That lets everyone know that 5 is not included in the solutions. And then we shade to the left. Every value less than 5 is okay for this inequality. Then we see x is less than or equal to 5. In this case, we'll do a closed dot, meaning 5 is included in the solutions as well as every number, every value that is less than 5. In a word problem, you might see words like no more than 5, 5 or less, a maximum of 5, 5 at the most, 5 and below. Those are things to look, out, look at if you are reading a word problem in 5. If we're going to graph this one, we'll do an open circle and shade to the right. This lets everyone know that all values greater than 5 are solutions to this inequality. And then finally, we have x is greater than or equal to 5. We'll do a closed dot to let everyone know 5 is included in the solutions, and we'll shade to the right. Um, in a word problem, you might see words like a minimum of 5, 5 or more, at least 5, or 5 and up. Now, let's look at compound inequalities. This inequality here says negative 2 is less than x is less than 7. That mean, means that x has to meet both of these requirements. It has to be greater than negative 2, but less than 7. On a number line, because we don't have an equal there, we're going to do open circles. And x can be any value here in between those two numbers, so we'll shade in between. One thing to note, you will never see an, a compound inequality in this format. You will never see something like this. You won't see the signs, that's a 7, that's a greater than. You won't see the signs pointing different ways. That doesn't make sense. Um, if x is greater than negative 2 and x is greater than 7, uh, then you don't even need this part because if x is greater than 7, it's already greater than negative 2. So just something to watch out for. So how do we solve inequalities? They are very similar to how you would solve an equation. There's one important exception that I'll show you in just a minute. But let's look at one that works out pretty similar to how a uh, regular equation would be worked out. We'll look for any kind of distributing that needs to happen. 4 times 7x gives us 28x. 4 times a negative 5 gives us a negative 20. We'll bring down the rest of the inequality. Okay, now we'll look for any like terms we can combine. We have a 28x and a negative 19x. Those combine to give us 9x, bring down our negative 20, still less than 52. Now we'll solve this with inverse operations. Add 20 to both sides. 9x is less than 72, and then divide by 9. All right, let's do a quick experiment to see what happens when uh, negatives get involved and how they can kind of cause some issues. All right, so, so far starting out with just 4 and 8, we know that 4 is less than 8. But let's try some different things. What if we subtract 3 from both sides? So we have 1 and we have 5. Is the sign still okay? Is 1 less than 5? Yes, so that's fine. All right, now let's multiply both sides. Let's multiply both sides by uh, 5. 5 times 4 is 20, 8 times 5 is 40, 
Is the sign still the same? Yes, 20 is still less than 40. All right, let's move to 40 less than negative 80. No, it is not. So we have to flip this sign around. Negative 40 is greater than negative 80. So it's important to notice what happened there and that's gonna help us solve in a minute. Let's also try dividing. What if we divide both sides by a negative number? How about negative two? Four divided by negative two is negative two. Eight divided by negative two is negative four. Is negative two less than negative four? Again, no it is not. We have to flip that sign around. Negative two is greater than negative four. So notice here, when these negatives got involved, when we were multiplying or dividing by a negative, the sign had to flip in order to keep the inequality true. If you know that, then you can use that when you are solving. All right, let's solve this inequality and we'll be watching out for any of these tricky situations. So we're gonna start off by subtracting eight from both sides. Negative seven X is less than or equal to negative 28. Now, so far the sign stays the same because all we did was subtract. That doesn't change the sign. Next step, we need to get rid of this negative seven, so we will divide both sides by negative seven. But remember what happened up here when we divided by negative, the sign had to flip. So over here we have our x, the sign flips around to become a greater than or equal, negative 28 divided by negative 7 is 4 and that's your solution. Now let's see how inequalities can be used for word problems. So let's read this word problem and then we'll see how an inequality yeah. can work with it. The world record for the longest distance swimming is 139 and 8 tenths miles. You are trying to break the record. You have already swum 43 miles. Let's write an inequality that would show the distance you could still swim and break the record. So you already swam 43 miles, you're gonna swim some more miles, and you want this to break the record. So we want it to be greater than 139 and 8 tenths. We don't wanna use an equal to there because we don't wanna tie the record, we wanna break it. 